Yep. All right, so today we're putting in a Ramus screw. So I have the Synthi 6573 set on the back table. We can use this set for pelvic Ramus screws. We can use them for sacroiliac screws. They're also very useful when we're doing a perk pinning of a proximal femur. And they'll even use them on an electron sometimes. So I'm just gonna walk you through the tray really quick. These are all the K-wires that are available. Some doctors like drill tip wires and some doctors like the thread tip wires. So it just depends on your doctor's preference, what they like, and you can see there's different lengths. My doctor likes the drill tips, so that's what I'm gonna get out today. They have different guides that some doctors like to use. This is called the Gatling gun. It just helps them get their start point for their drill. My doctor doesn't use any of this, so I'm not gonna take any of that out. These all serve the same purpose, but just a little bit different style. So we're gonna put the K-wire in first. And after we get the K-wire in, we're gonna take a bunch of x-rays. And as long as he likes the position of it, then we'll measure the length of the wire with this depth gauge. After we get the length of the wire, my doctor likes to pop the cortex with a 5-0 drill bit. And we do not have the right attachment in our drills to accept this type. So I always chuck it on a, a blue handle because that is power which is low torque, high velocity. Once we pop the cortex, we'll then take the screw, and we have six five and seven three. These are annulated, and they are partially threaded. So just to give you an example, this is a 73, 32 millimeter thread is the thread length here. If I take out a 145 in a 16 thread, you will see the, the difference here. So always ask, do you want 16 millimeter or 32 millimeter thread? Always measure the length of your screw to make sure it's right. And this is the, the, measure, the, depth gate, or the measuring stick up here as well. If for some reason they won't, a, a washer, they're in the bottom here. You just pull this little tab out and pull a washer out. Make sure that you look at the washer and see that it's beveled. It's only beveled on one side. So you wanna put the head of the screw through that bevel and just feed it all the way down and it should see really nicely there, okay? Um, the screwdriver for this set also has the same uh, attachment, which we don't have in our drills. So I put that on a reamer head, just because we have residents here and I like for them to put it on a little bit. That's my key. So you can put this on a red or a green head. Once I get the screw all the way down, he'll take the hand driver and he'll tighten it um, the rest of the way down. And that's it.